She wasn't just pointed, she was using Donald Trump's own words to mock him. Well, the amazing thing about this speech is that it managed to condense about a decade of Donald Trump's outbursts, tweets, and stray remarks into a concise address that blasted his foreign policy. And obviously, given Donald Trump's desire to speak out uh, in the way that he does, there was a lot of material to work with. This was a target-rich environment, and she did everything from blasting his non-proliferation policy in Asia uh, to blasting his views on enhanced interrogation and the war on ISIS. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the things Hillary Clinton uh, talked about and criticized Trump for, including his uh, her, his temperament. Um, it was interesting because, you know, in one point she said Donald Trump likes to pick fights with our allies, including Brit the British Prime Minister, the Pope, uh, also the President of Mexico. But it's in if you put that next to the fact that Trump has, you know, struck a more conciliatory tone with a Putin or a Kim Jong Un, it makes you wonder if Trump were to become president, how his presidency might impact long-standing relations with uh, U.S. allies. Absolutely, and this was a theme that she was trying to hit on over and over again, that she is there, she is there to back U.S. allies, the traditional allies in Europe and Southeast Asia, and she tried to contrast herself with Donald Trump by saying and pointing out the fact that he has said things that were unusually complimentary, whether about Kim Jong-un, who he said he'd be willing to open up negotiations with over its nuclear program or Vladimir Putin who he has said uh, is a strong leader now Donald Trump would obviously push back saying that those remarks were taken out of context uh, he says he has a lot of issues with Vladimir Putin he mainly sees him as someone who advances the goals of his own country and really is rooted in the national interest of his own country in the same way the US should be it's an unusual argument but he would phrase it probably in a different way than she laid out in this speech Mm. A couple of things that were interesting. I noticed she, she called him Donald a lot of a lot of the time, not all the time, but not Mr. Trump or not Donald Trump, mm -hmm. Donald. And uh, and and you know, all stump speeches have raised voices. But I don't know about you guys. I I found that she was very measured. The, the, the tone had gone down to a very controlled level because she had her critics have been uh, like Donald Trump, been saying she shouts. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think this was one part pep rally, but really another part stand-up comedy routine where she <laughs> felt very comfortable with herself and she really enjoyed really plucking and cherry-picking all of the comments that he have said over a decade. And, and let's face it, she's got a lot of comedic material to work with.